This presentation, we're going to look at the purposes of session starters, basically setting up a climate, the climate setting for your presentations. Some of the purposes of session starters, there's many, but we're going to look, concentrate on four in this presentation. The first one we're going to look at is to welcome the learner. Second is to get information about the learners. Third would be to give information to the learners. And then fourth, to transition to the first learning module. We'll look at that as well as the role of graphics and music in your presentations. The role of music and graphics in setting an adult learning climate are profound. I think they can really do a lot to help bridge and connect you with your audience. First, music helps to set an attractive and calming atmosphere as students arrive. It also helps to put students at ease. Music is upbeat, helps build energy into the group as well. I've seen studies about restaurants that use fast-paced music or slow-paced music actually affects the way people eat. Music can also be used as an auditory cue. So it's signal time to begin or resume the training session. Music can provide a calming note. Instrumental music is less distracting than music with lyrics and learning environments. So you want to consider that when you put together your presentations. And the role of graphics. Graphics are visual reminders of different parts of the course. They can provide an overview of the course. And graphics can be useful tools for reviewing the course content. And you think of graphics, simple, like for a movie poster, for example. A lot of movie posters will basically encapsulate the entire movie in one picture in a graphic. Very effective way to communicate what the movie's about and kind of get a general idea of what the content is. So graphics can work really well for you. Purposes of session starters. First, to welcome the learners. And you can do this a number of different ways. In some of the courses I teach, I'll record a video or even just audio. Or you can even just keyboard text it in as well using a voice thread to welcome the learners, kind of introduce each other. Most of the time, I will introduce myself first, and then students will sort of replicate and do that. You'll kind of want to provide, whether it's an icebreaker or a simple thing like that and for an online environment, where people can actually just set up a discussion thread or a voice thread or something like that where students can have opportunity to introduce themselves to one another and kind of get a background of who each other is and who their classmates are. So there's very creative ways to do that in face-to-face -face environments and online environments. Maybe a little bit more limited, but being creative, you can find different ways to do that and accomplish that goal. When you do this first session starter for welcoming the learners, you'll want to, if it's a live presentation and face-to-face, -face, you'll want to arrive early for setup. Even for online, if you're doing a synchronous session, you'll want to make sure that you've prepared ahead of time, make sure the equipment's working, the technology is fine, you're comfortable with it, and that sort of thing, and be there prepared with your slides if you're going to do that, or presentation information and notes and all that's ready and available for those who are going to be viewing your presentation. Greet your participants, your students as they arrive. Welcome them. Make sure they can hear you and you can hear them if you're doing it in an online environment. Obviously, face-to-face, -face, you can shake their hand or visit with them for a bit. And then ask them to answer simple-to-answer questions. Make sure that all the technology is working if it's in an online environment. And that way, the participants will feel comfortable to participate as well. Pretty straightforward here on the second purpose of session starters. Really, it's just to get information about the learners, allowing them to share and to talk a little bit about themselves and give them an opportunity to greet and meet each other. And that way they will be able to feel comfortable and you will feel comfortable with them as well. And each other will know kind of a little bit of background, understanding who they are. Depending on the environment that you're in, the type of information you need to get, we'll look about that at the next slide look a little bit deeper on this think about the different types of environments you'll be in whether it is in an online environment or in a face-to-face -face presentation that you're giving what's the motivation but do they have to be there you know that prisoner feeling well I've, I've got to do this for credit or I've got to get this done because my job requires me to be here more they there voluntarily they want to be continue to learn and to be engaged and to be on top of their discipline and so they want to or they're just there to learn some more information and to just continue to grow and to be a lifelong learner so what's the enthusiasm level you want to be able to get that information background information what do they know about the topic what's their experiences with the topic be very beneficial and then third thing to get information on would be just on expectations what do they expect to learn what do they expect to do with the information once they get it and back on the job or or they use this in their lives and how will they use it 
So this could be very helpful and beneficial as you get started in your presentation at the beginning and just from kind of getting that climate setting for the audience that you're going to work with. Another purpose of the session starters is to give information. The last slide we talked about getting information and this one went to give information to the students. You know, things that they need to expect, things that you want to communicate to them and help them understand what's the session about, what are we talking about in this module or in this presentation. Pretty much kind of setting them at ease, making sure that they're all on the same page and setting that up. And so we'll talk about some of the information that you give learners on the next slide. So some of the examples of information you can give, credibility, credentials, you know, what makes you qualify to be the presenter. You have certifications or degrees in that field, qualified, are you experienced, what's your level of experience, and to be able to share that with the audience that you're presenting to. Also, you can give them some ground rules. So, you know, do you want participation? Is it going to be a lecture? And then at the end, ask questions, or can they prepare you with questions throughout your presentation? Also, the responsibility for learning belongs to the learner, and so you want to make sure that you're communicating that. You can also give them some of your program information would be like a syllabus, and so you make sure that they're aware of the different responsibilities and the dates and the information that you have for your course would be all contained in that syllabus, so you can give them that to them. And then also the schedule for your types of training that you're going to be having coming up. And so you can also make them aware of that and even furnish them with a calendar. Now with electronic technology and things like that and everybody's smartphones, data can be shared with that through social networking sites and so many different ways, even with sharing a calendar with a group that you're training, a Google calendar, for example. So giving information is important for your audience so that they understand their responsibilities. Purposes of session starters, the fourth one would be to transition to the first learning module. So getting over the introductory type of material and then building a bridge to transition into that first learning module to prepare them for what they're going to be engaged in as you move into your course and into your presentation. For this, to transition, this purpose of the session started transitioning to the first learning mod, can give them some focus activities on getting them into the next module, into that first module, connect the learners to the content, and then require learners individual attention as you move into that first module and kind of get really focused and get centered into the presentation as you want to deliver it to the audience. As we wrap up this session, I think some good ideas that we've shared, especially with the role of music and graphics and the purposes of the session starters. Just remember, three criteria for selecting your session starters involve everyone. Send the message that everyone needs to be involved throughout the training session in order for it to be a success for everyone. Make it a low-risk activity in your session starters to ensure that everyone's comfortable participating and relate the activity to the content that is to follow to show the learners that you're not going to waste their time playing games or conducting activities that's unrelated to the work and to the presentation. You really want to use the time, the session starter time, as a time that can make it an effective means of setting up the kind of the ground rules, giving the information, getting information, what the expectations are, and then also to get to know your learners in that environment and to welcome them. And so look forward to the next presentation with you and hope you've enjoyed this one.